Hi, I'm Linda, the creator of information about arthritis. If you are new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Just click the button below and then click the notification bell to receive notification of new videos when they are released. Also don't forget to visit my website, where you can find out more information about these terrible diseases. Reactive arthritis, also known as Reiter's syndrome, is another type of inflammatory arthritis that reacts to an infection in another part of the body, such as the urinary or gastrointestinal tract. It is called reactive because the joint inflammation occurs as a reaction to an infection. Reactive arthritis mainly affects the joints, causing pain, swelling, and stiffness. The symptoms of reactive arthritis can be grouped into three parts. First is arthritis symptoms. In this group, you may have joint pain and inflammation of the knees, feet, and ankles. You may develop inflammation of the tendons which are attached to the bones. This could cause your fingers to become shorter and thicker. Developing heel spurs is another symptom that causes chronic pain especially when you walk. Also, inflammation of the spine called spondylitis and lower back joints called sacroiliitis. Number 2 is eye inflammation. Some people with reactive arthritis may experience inflammation of the eyes called conjunctivitis or inflammation of the uvea called uveitis. This can lead to redness, pain, and blurred vision. The third group is symptoms of the urinary tract. For men you could develop an increased urine, a burning sensation, or an inflamed prostate gland called prostatitis. The symptoms of women could be inflamed cervix and urethra, also burning sensation during urination, or inflammation of the fallopian tubes called salpingitis, or vulva and vagina. You are nine times more likely to develop reactive arthritis if you are male. The second is if you have an illness from contaminated food. Sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydia, also an intestinal infection, which can be from salmonella or shigella. The first treatment for reactive arthritis could include a clinical evaluation from your healthcare provider, who will do a physical examination and review your medical history, including any recent infection. Then they may give you a blood test to check for markers of inflammation and to identify specific antibodies. You may also have fluid taken from the affected joint to check for signs of inflammation and rule out other conditions. Or you could have microbiological tests done for infection, such as cultures or molecular tests for bacteria, may be done to identify the triggering pathogen. Antibiotics If the reactive arthritis is triggered by a bacterial infection, antibiotics may be prescribed to treat the underlying infection. For example, in cases associated with chlamydia, appropriate antibiotics are administered. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs may be used to manage joint pain and inflammation, or in some cases corticosteroids, may be prescribed to manage severe inflammation, especially if other treatments are not effective. Or in persistent or severe cases, you may be given disease-modifying anti drugs to help control inflammation and prevent joint damage. You could also have an appointment with a physical therapist who can help you do exercises and help maintain joint flexibility strengthen muscles and reduce symptoms. Supportive measures, rest, joint protection, and the use of orthotics may be recommended to manage symptoms and improve overall function. Reactive arthritis, formerly known as Reiter's syndrome, is a type of inflammatory arthritis that typically develops in response to an infection in another part of the body. It usually occurs after a bacterial infection in the gastrointestinal or genitourinary tract. The most common triggers are infections caused by certain bacteria, such as chlamydia, salmonella, shigella, or yersinia. It's important for individuals with symptoms suggestive of reactive arthritis to seek medical attention promptly. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment 
can help alleviate symptoms and prevent long-term complications. A rheumatologist or infectious disease specialist may be involved in the management of reactive arthritis, depending on the specific circumstances. I am not a medical professional, and this video is for information only. If you have any questions that I have not covered in this video please leave a comment and I shall get back to you. I hope this has helped you and good luck.